What is up, YouTube? All right, so let's get into this. So first, I'm going to give you the definition of what an industry plant is. Then I'll get on to uh, why I believe Tom McDonald is an industry plant. So the definition of an industry plant is an artist who has a major or indie label uh, backing their movement, but presents himself as a quote unquote homegrown startup label to create a pseudo organic following. They act as if things are miraculously happening for them based on their talents. Uh, and in parentheses, it's via blog coverage, media coverage, MTV playing their videos, etc. So, um, so some examples of some uh, industry plan artists are um, Blueface. Um, what's that Old Town Road guy? Uh, uh, Lil Nas X. Uh, and... Um, Billie Eilish, Post Malone. Uh, so, like, probably the one you all most know is Post Malone. Uh, and you remember how, like, suddenly, apparently, like, uh, um, what was that song? Uh, wait, I'm blanking out right now. Let me, let me remember that song. It was a while ago. One of his first favorite songs, uh, Post Malone. Let me search it up right now. Songs, uh, I don't want to die too young. No, that's not it. Uh, shit. Uh, it's not showing up when I look it up. That's how old it is. Um, it's not too young. Uh, white aversion. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what aversion, uh, you remember, y'all remember when that, uh, blew up like millions of plays, like overnight, apparently, uh, on SoundCloud, and then like he's got this crazy production just with all of his music videos right away, and, and he blew up right away. But uh, what these industry, uh, what these major indie labels do is they like um, try to make some sort of appealing persona uh, attached to the artist uh, to try to just like, um, and, and, and they like boost like. Uh, like they, they like um, pay for plays on SoundCloud or pay for YouTube views, et cetera, et cetera, uh, just to make that whole illusion that they're blowing up. And they have connections with like uh, with other like labels uh, in order to get um, like shout outs or collabs from famous artists or uh, or celebrities. Um, which makes, again, the illusion that it seems like they're naturally blowing up, but in reality, it's all set up. Uh, it, it has obviously been working out for a lot of these artists, uh, but there are industry plants that did fail, uh, but most of them, uh, it, it, it's been happening a lot more frequently uh, nowadays. Some are more subtle than others, but, uh, but now let's get to uh, Tom McDonald. So, I think I'm the first one on YouTube that's going to be talking about like how he's an industry plant. That's at least what I believe, because uh, I noticed like there were a number of um, number of signs that just tailored to him potentially being an industry plant. So first, I'm going to start with uh, what his most famous like one of his most famous songs is "White Boy." Uh, it's just basically like, um, just kind of like promoting equality and just saying like, uh, a lot of people are like hating on white people, uh, mean like hating on the white people that aren't racist, but are, uh, but there's people nowadays who claim that every single uh, white person's racist. Uh, but yeah, you just gotta listen to it to, um, to like understand what I'm talking about. Um, but so, like, uh, a lot of his music has to do with, like, political and social issues. Uh, mainly, like, yeah, and, and, like, yeah. so he's, like, kind of a shock kind of rapper, you know what I mean? Just trying to get, like, a, a lot of attention from that. Um, it, it's, like, he, he's got dope music, but, yeah. Uh, but, and, and it seemed like he would, it seems like he wouldn't be an industry plant considering he's making this sort of content that's, like, social and political in this kind of this kind of uh, social and political ideology, but uh, the indicators that I find that he may be an industry plant, uh, maybe where I first started to notice was 
I noticed all the comments. And whenever I happen to notice any sort of fake views or fake uh, uh, comments, uh, they tend to be kind of similar uh, similar things being said, just like they seem leg relatively legit. But if you like uh, read it again and kind of like think about it, you're like, wait a minute, this seems like fake. Uh, so like one example was I remember there was like a, a top comment uh, that was saying like, oh, I love uh, Tom McDonald's music. Like I've been listening to it like for several years now blah 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 even though at the time uh his oldest song posted was less than a year before then uh and you all may be thinking from just that that's just a conspiracy theory but wait there's more all right so um so another thing too is like looking at all his production quality it seems like really good but it seems uh, and like every single like song uh is like really good the production quality but um the thing about that though is like uh that's that's what happens the same thing with uh industry plants and he doesn't have a single song that's in like lower quality but it's like the industry plants i notice it's like uh great production quality but not to a point where it's like uh extremely incredible like migos or stuff like that uh, it's like to uh, to a point where it's like feasible, like uh, like it, you're able to do this kind of video production, but it's just like extremely high quality. I don't know how to explain it very well. Um, like people who are into video production would understand what I'm saying. Uh, maybe others as well. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna say more so then you believe me. <laughs> um, so. Another thing too is I noticed he mainly when he was starting to blow up, there was tons of reaction videos to his song "White Boy," uh, and that was one of his first uh, famous songs, um, or first songs in general. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you know about Kid Boo, but Kid Boo's uh, some SoundCloud rapper, some some uh, rapper uh, that didn't come out until like too too long ago. But what he did. Uh, he, I don't believe he's an industry plant. Uh, I've heard that he's an industry plant. Uh, but um, either way, like what he did is he would pay for tons of uh, um, pro like reaction videos. Like he would pay for people to make those reaction videos, which like if you watch the reaction videos of, of Tom McDonald's uh, White Boy song. Uh, you can tell it's very forced and just completely positive and then attempting to be a tiny bit critical but like it's all basically positive and you can tell it's just forced and paid but I don't think it's forced and paid like in a sense that it's like Kid Boo where it's like not an industry plant I think it's like forced and paid by like a major indie label like a, like an industry plant because like these are like uh, these are YouTubers that like I'm, I'm assuming it would cost a decent amount to get them to talk most of them uh, of these reaction videos versus like Kid Boo didn't have like that big uh, people talking uh, for the reaction videos. So another thing too is, uh, um, let's see what else. Uh, yep, okay, two more things. So, I don't know if, uh, well, if you're first hearing about Tom McDonald uh, for the first time right now, you wouldn't know this, but uh, Tom McDonald and a rapper named Mac Lethal had beef and they made like diss songs to each other and they made like, I think two diss songs each, uh, but I can 100% tell, well, not 100, but like 90% that it, this was planned. Uh, I think it, because uh, like, Mac Lethal was just like basically talking about how like uh, Tom was just like maybe not saying the right stuff regarding like social issues or whatever uh, and like dissing him like about that and stuff like that. Um, but uh, the thing I find suspicious about that is like listening to Mac Lethal like talk in his other songs and stuff like that. Uh, I noticed that his, uh, I can just sense his political and social views are relatively similar to Tom McDonald, so I wouldn't understand him dissing McDonald, uh, Tom McDonald for that. Uh, I think it was 
set up because uh because i bet what it is is like they they both like work together like oh yeah we could both get like like publicity from this yeah we'll just do it like a mutual kind of like a, a fun thing and we'll pretend this beef you know what i mean just for publicity uh or it could even be to the point where like tom literally paid uh mac lethal i'm not sure about that uh but yeah check it out um you can find it like all over youtube uh and so then the one last thing i was gonna say is the recent thing that happened with tom mcdonald he he made a video about like how his song uh if i was black like wasn't gonna be released um uh because apparently like in the label he's in they called him saying like oh uh someone at the office got triggered i mean like got offended uh by this song so we don't want to post it blah 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 this that and so apparently tom said that he switched labels uh but uh, because he didn't want to bother dealing with that and that's ridiculous and he was going on a rant how like horrorcore rappers and then like uh other sorts of rappers like talk about extreme kind of content uh and their stuff is still able to be posted uh, on all these platforms etc and like put out there uh but his song which is like uh like talking about um the hardships of like being black and uh in the u.s uh and and like how it's hard and and like um that would be difficult if he were to be in that position if he were to be black uh and he can understand their hurt and pain you know what i mean uh but but so like before he was able to release that song he made that like video like talking about all that but i thought it was going to be a thing where it like could have potentially been a, a a some sort of a an offensive song uh so that's why i would have understood that potentially someone could have gotten upset at the office about that or something like that but uh, um but since it's like defending black people i think like that i like it wouldn't have been banned you know what i mean uh so i think that video was just to like fire people up just to like uh, like yeah, just get more publicity. Like, if you look at all, all the ways he's doing publicity, like getting more publicity, it's like a really, really, really mild, different version of 6 9 Or maybe not, actually. Like, 6 9 did it in different ways. Uh, but 6 9 um But yeah, anyways, I, I think uh, all these, like, publicity stunts uh, is all, like, set up uh i don't think almost anything about him is legitimate except for his like views potentially um i i do like his music but yeah i'm, I'm just saying that i think he's an industry plant uh, i don't think it's a bad thing that he's in an industry plant at all i'm just saying like i think he's or or i don't think it's bad that anybody's an industry plant in my opinion but uh but yeah i'm just saying that's that's my theory that i believe he's an industry plant but thank you for watching that is my first analyzation of anything on this channel so i hope you enjoy and please subscribe and listen to my music and my other videos thank you bye